Hey, Coach Kuykendall here, uh, Reality Sports, um, giving some baseball skill and drills. Um, today we're doing some outfield, so some outfield um, pop-ups, so how to teach our kids how to catch pop-ups, and a handful of drills to help you prepare them in this. So first off, we're going to have a pop-up, regular, just a regular pop-up, uh, two hands, catch the ball, so I'm just going to throw it to them, they're just going to get under the ball and come through it, okay? Now, with that process, remember, you saw Z Zions out there and a guy named Dawson, one of our players, great players here at Curtis High School as well as Reality Sports. But he came through the ball. We're assuming right now that somebody's tagging up from third base and trying to score. Okay, so we want to throw that guy out at the plate so they're getting behind the ball and throwing it out. Get behind it! Come through. He's going to come through and bang, okay? Dawson's a normal shortstop. So these are ones that he's going to come through. Most of the time, Dawson's probably catching balls over his shoulder. But Z's right here. Get behind it, coming through. Notice her two hands and coming through. All right, as we continue our outfield drills, one is the basic pop-up you just saw. Now we're going to go one where it's just over their right shoulder. So we're going to go right shoulder and left shoulder. But I'm going to have them turn and go and run. And I'm going to throw the baseball over their right shoulder starting out. Go. I'm gonna do a pop up here over his right shoulder. He's gotta stay with it and then come on back. Next guy in line. Go. There. Okay, I might underthrow him a little bit or maybe they gotta stretch it and go get it. Either way, make sure they run the ball in to you too. Not just chuck it in, but they gotta run the ball in. Go. Okay, make a little bit there. He's gotta go get that. He's gonna have to run and go over the shoulder. Yes, he does. Nice catch. Great catch, Z. Doss, go. Same thing there. Dawson's going to go. He's had the battle a little bit. Okay, come. Sun's in their eyes a little bit too, which isn't a bad thing. It's going to happen in a real game. Okay, now that's right shoulder. Now we come back and we're going to go left shoulder. So have them stand right in front of you. He's jumping out. Now I'm going to go his left shoulder. Go. Okay, he's got to go left. He's got to find it and go. Nice. Go. Okay. Dawson's got to go get it. Okay, over his left shoulder. Good. Watch out for the lacrosse players. Go. Good. Hey, Locke. Okay. Now let's go Doss one more time. Left shoulder. Go. Okay. And he's coming. Battle's back. Good. Notice how Dawson, on that one, it was underthrown. And he didn't drift. He kept running hard. Then stops and works his way back. Better to be Better to go hard out and then to come back in, okay? Okay, now we went right shoulder, we went left shoulder, okay? Now we're gonna go what we call oppo shoulder. So this happens in a game sometimes where the ball's hit and it has a slice to it. So if it does have a slice, we're gonna go and he's gonna run and I'm gonna throw it over his other shoulder. Zion's gonna come here and he's gonna see it's hooking on him. Never open up this way, right? So he's gonna just do a quick head snap and go get the ball. Okay, tough play, go. Oppo shoulder, you're gonna spin and find it. Saw it and go, good. Go, spins, one's right down the middle, he's gotta get, oh, okay. Tough feed, okay. Coming back in, obviously good to have maybe more than two guys doing it. You guys are getting winded, okay. Same thing, oppo shoulder, go. Here, spins. Good head snap, finds the ball. Okay, go. Oh, I didn't snap it to see if he's paying attention. So that's another one too, keep him honest, keep him honest. Maybe I, I don't throw it over his shoulder, I throw it on the same one, and that's the case there, okay? All right, so that's over the right shoulder, over the left shoulder, the ball hooks on you, we call that oppo shoulder, opposite shoulder, and now we go no look. A little bit of advanced, if you're just learning how to catch, probably wouldn't advise this one, but it is a good one where I'm gonna throw the ball, and I'm gonna say ball, and it's either gonna be right at him, right or left. I'm gonna give him plenty of time to kinda, to see it though. Ready? Go. Fall. Okay, it's just finding it, coming through, and coming through, okay? And go. Fall. Okay, good, they're battling right there, battling a little bit of sun. Good. Go. Ball. Ball. Okay. Good. All right. 
good for now. That is the outfield piece as far as that goes. Um, fly balls. Um, right at you, regular pop-up over my right shoulder, one over the left shoulder, one over the opposite shoulder, one no look, okay? And then we progress into some ground balls. Okay, ground balls that they're gonna do as an outfielder. Um, there's the obviously one that's a hit out to the outfield that is nobody on, nobody out. You wanna protect just from the ball taking a bad hop. Okay, Z, go ahead and jump out there. So here's a regular ground ball. It's super thick grass here, but this is one where he's just gonna feel like an infielder and just make sure nothing gets by him. So he's here, he's just gonna make sure nothing's behind him and coming through it, okay? Doss, same thing. This ball hit to the outfield, coming in, making sure you block that thing and come in, okay? All right, then we go into what's called the do or die. So one, we would teach our outfielders either to make sure just the ball doesn't get by, and then we have a do or die, game's on the line and you're gonna come in really you're gonna come in and feel the ball you can get my feet here we would teach right about the left foot I'm right-handed it'd be opposite if you're left teaching in here on the run and coming up and we would call either doing a mini crow step or crow hop or a power step but you're gonna come through the ball and try to get rid of it almost that right left pick it up right left throw it with momentum coming through so here's what a do or die ground ball looks like do or die. Uh, that's our outfield play. Um, there's a little bit more to it than that, but that's some of the basic pop-up drills you can do at your own practices, um, at your own stations. I would advise in a practice plan, if at all possible, um, how many dads can you get to help you out there? Or if your kids get older, they can roll ground balls to each other and practice all their fundamentals um, of stuff. So there's plenty to do as an outfielder, as an infielder, um, to set up, but thank you.